Hey, how's it going? So now we've learned how to play a major seven arpeggio, a minor seven arpeggio, a dominant seven arpeggio, and a minor seven flat five arpeggio from the previous video. What we're looking to do now is to insert that into the G major scale. So the order of the chords, um, it goes major seven, minor seven in A, and then a minor seven on the B, then it goes to a major seven on the C, and it goes to a dominant seven on the D, this is the fifth chord, the dominant fifth, it's got a different quality to it, minor seven on the E minor, now the minor seven flat five on the F sharp. And then we're back to G major seven. So, same way we were uh, moving the other through the scale with the other arpeggios, we're gonna do that now for a bit of practice using these four note major and minor seven arpeggios. Two, three, four. So playing those up and down the net, you need to do descending, ascending, and then, just like I did a few videos ago, we want to try and make music with them. So where I did a little uh, rock and roll style, uh, little bass line. So going up the scale using this little uh, line, we want to try and do the same with the major and minor seven arpeggios. So. So a little jazzy style, um, little bass line that you can practice. And then change the rhythm, you know, change the order of the notes that you can play with. Something like that, I don't know. Or uh, don't start on the low note, start on the octave. the notes longer, shorter, do different durations, you know, do sixteenths, do eighth notes. So lots of variation uh, on these different arpeggios. So at the moment, all we've been doing is focusing on the first three, oh, sorry, the first three strings, the, the, the sixth string, the fifth, and the fourth string. So strings six, five, and four. What we want to do now is play the other uh, end of the guitar. So starting from the fourth string, where we end up here within the first octave of the arpeggio. So we need to play arpeggios now starting from the fourth string, moving across to the first string. And then work our way up the neck again. So, a bit of a challenge. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next video to start working on strings four, three, two, and one.